What's going on Babylonians? It's me Songs of Rays and I am back with some more Miasma Chronicles guides to be able to bring to you. Now today we're going to be having a look over Mama herself and that is going to be Barmadi. Now in terms of like her character she's very similar to that of Elvis. She's all about being an editor. She's able to use the power of Miasma to be able to do loads of abilities and basically all the abilities that you do pick up in the rest of this game she is able to use alongside it. But she does have some more utility and it definitely pays off towards the end game as well. So what we're going to have a quick look into is her normal playstyle. We're going to have a look into a skill deck to be able to get the most out of her kit. And then we're going to also have a look as to how, what is best to be able to actually gear her up when it comes to this. If you do find that you enjoyed this video and you learned something useful with ourselves, then make sure to drop a like and a subscribe on the channel. It really does help the channel out and it also helps you to be able to find us ready for more Miasma Chronicles guides like this. But with all that said and done, what are we waiting for? Let's get right into it. So Barmadi is someone that you pick up inside of Chronicle number two, and the reason why is because you managed to find her, and then she's also there to be able to help you out on the rest of your journey, tagging along with Elvis to be able to start nurturing, to be able to work, make his way on the rest of his quest. Now just like Elvis, Barmadi has her own Miasma Power Glove, which means that she also has access to Miasma Powers, which you do find and pick up in the game. Now while she isn't able to have access to three of them like Elvis does, she is able to bring along two powers of her own, which means that you can have the full maximum ability of five Miasma Powers at once, once you do put it inside your party. So if you are looking to be able to have a full-on Miasma Powered kind of gameplay loop to be able to go with this, if you're looking to be able to maximise the amount of powers that are cast throughout every single battle, because they are all impactful, and they're all useful in their own regard, then make sure to be able to bring Barmadi to be able to then have the pure, the most amount of utility available to you at that time. Now in terms of how to be able to use Barmadi especially, she doesn't have access to anything really that's going to help her out too much when it comes to being able to have sustain in a fight. So in terms of like health, she is technically one of the squishier characters. She doesn't have access to any increases to her armor. Uh, and she is primarily kind of like a midfield kind of player. She's not like Jade that, so that specializes in like long distance or anything like that. She's not like Elvis or Diggs that can take the brunt of it up front. She is kind of like a middling character in that sense. She is more support oriented as long as she has access to her Miasma powers. For this reason, I would recommend just going with the bog standard assault rifle, and because of some of the abilities that she does possess, I would still recommend giving her a type of shotgun. Now, in this case, I have given her the SKT sort of Dragon SG. Uh, this gives some nice extra utility when it comes to being able to move around, so she has access to that. Uh, but any shotgun technically can work. Uh, the only reason why I haven't got the wide boy on this is because I have it on, on Elvis, so therefore. You know, you, you can mix and match the shotguns how you want, but as long as you have a shotgun, it will then pair really nicely with everything else that's in the skill deck. Now, in terms of power cores, I have recommended going, going at least one into Exo Hardener Alpha to be able to give her at least some armor to be able to give some sustain. Uh, but I probably would go for something like a Newt Newtonic Dampener to be able to uh, reduce the amount of critical hits. Or you could, in essence, go for something like a Fireproof Fluid to be able to reduce, like, any, like, make her immune to any kind of, like, fire damage that will be coming her way. Which we all know is pretty devastating when it comes to the more human kind of characters that exist. Now you can mix and match some of the Miasma powers, but I have gone for Electro Chainer and I have gone for Mind Worm, but you definitely could swap this out for another one of the summon abilities. Uh, you know, you just feel free to be able to mix and match how that is you want, but most of me, most importantly, I don't really tend to use Barmadi that much inside this game. My main companion is going to be Jade, and she that's the reason why she has access to that spawn. But that's a different guide, uh, that's a different character, so we're not talking about that one. So feel free to be able to use what powers you like the most, and if you're looking for a guide to be able to talk about the best abilities that exist in this game, there will be another video coming shortly to the channel. So we've discussed everything to do with her kit when it comes to this kind of menu, so let's have a quick look into the skill deck and be able to work from there as to what and what are the best choices to be able to pick up for this character. Now you can see my current choices in here, but you can definitely mix and match as how you want it and how you want to be able to build her up. The top left perk is always going to be about health and to be able to increase your kilowatt capacity. And because she has access to at least one or two uh, abilities, depending on how you gear her up, it's definitely worthwhile being able to pick up that kilowatt capacity so you have access to more uh, energy at a, a given time. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going all the way into HK, HP capacity. I definitely think those points are better spent elsewhere. Uh, but you definitely are worthwhile at least picking up the first kilowatt capacity and then deciding from there what's actually worth it to you. The main tree that's the best though is definitely going to be this bottom left one and I would highly recommend that you do maximize this as much as possible. The first one you do pick up is Armor Eater Shot. This is an absolute standard and an absolute must when it comes to end game on this because the amount of armor that units will be start spawning with is just insane and you need this to be able to maximize with your shotguns. So I highly recommend that you do at least pick up Armor Eater Shot. 
From there, you can go left to an EMP shot, which takes what Armor Eater does and just makes it even better when it comes to the mechanical components or uh, opponents that you will be coming up against. Uh, being able to disable mechanical targets for two turns is brilliant, uh, and being able to put that on a shotgun so that you can do widespread disabling and stun is just insane in this game so i highly recommend that you do pick up emp shot because it will do and will come back in dividends when you get later on into the game for two more points so you can get up temperance which is an okay ability it doesn't come into practice too much but it is a great way to be able to start recharging some of your abilities back so what you can do is skip a turn and be able to get yourself 20 kilowatts of energy uh, you don't need to skip the whole turn you do have, you have access to be able to use at least one of your uh uh, ability points in this sense so you, because you have two in every single time you take a turn you can move around and then you can skip your turn you can use something in your backpack and then skip a turn you, you've got some options there you've got an ability that you can use as long as you're not shooting your gun uh, then temperance is going you know, has an ability to be able to proc and that means that you can get 20 kilowatts of energy back but the main reason why you would grab this one is to be able to get the next one, which is the Miasma Slot, allowing you to be able to take in a second of uh, Miasma Power, giving you that much like versatility to be able to choose as to how you want to, uh, what abilities you want to be able to take in, and having access to more of the, sort of the stronger versions of Miasma Powers. In terms of the rest of the trees, though, I mean, bottom right's not too bad when it comes to abilities. You do have things that are able to boost up squad mates, and this is where it actually gets quite nice. Uh, Balance is a great one if you do pair her with uh, Elvis in this sense, because uh, she's able to give 60 kilowatts just a standard to Elvis to be able to like charge up his abilities. So if you do have Elvis primarily directed into Miasma Powers, uh, being able to use Balance on, granted it is a long cooldown of six turns, but it does mean that Barmadi is a great way to be able to trigger so you have access to your abilities back faster. Uh, on top of that, we also have Coach, which allows you to be able to give a squad mate an extra 30% increased critical chance for their next shot. This is on a fairly long cooldown of 5 turns, but it is a great way to be able to increase the, the, the chances of DPS when it comes to some of the people that you will be fighting. And you can increase this further to Coach 2, giving it a 50% increased critical chance instead of 30. Um, so, you know, if you feel like you need the critical chances, then feel free to be able to go for this, but I don't feel like this is necessary, if that makes sense. Uh, and then lastly, for one point, you can have Overwatch, which is just a standard ability to be able to uh, take automatic reaction shots if an enemy moves within a certain area. Overall, pretty standard, uh, but it's a great way to be able to start. If you put on something like a Killer Watch uh, Gainer, uh, it's like a weapon mod, uh, it's a great way to be able to get you some of your energy back for every single shot that you do take and land. Uh, in terms of the top right tree, you do have a couple of nice things, I, I guess, here, which uh, we've got pumped up where you're immune to knockback. Uh, this is great against uh, most specifically Wardens because they have the ability to be able to charge into you and knock you down. And you become Im fully immune to those types of attacks, which means that you don't get stunned. Uh, so therefore, for two points and just being immune to that, just in case the, in the situation arises, pretty decent. I would say that's probably worth the two points. Uh, going to the right, we have Sidewinder, which is uh, gains a 20% crit chance bonus to flanking shots. You will primarily be flanking when it comes to this, game, this type of game, so overall for 2 points, that's not a bad shout. Uh, for 2 points, we also have Move Through Enemy Overwatch Unharmed. I don't really rate this too much in and of itself. It doesn't come into practice too often, uh, but it is still something that does appear on the battlefield. And then lastly, we have Fluidity, which is pretty interesting, except for the fact that when it comes to the AI in this game, Regardless of if you're in low cover or high cover, they still find a way to be able to hit you. I feel like they've got the better hit chances when it comes to this game. Uh, so while fluidity on paper sounds like an amazing ability to be able to pick up, in practice it's actually probably better to be able to put these points somewhere else. So technically if you did want to ignore this part of the skill tree, you've got 7 points that you could put elsewhere. Overall, Barmadi is an amazing support character, really aiding and emphasizing everything that Elvis is technically able to do, allowing him to be able to recharge some of his energy, to be able to use more Miasma powers, being able to use Miasma powers herself, and also really helping that team composition to be able to take down most of the mechanical enemies that you will be facing when it comes to the later part of this game. If you do find yourself using Miasma Powers a lot in this game and you're really looking forward to just consistently keep using those over and over again, then Barmadi is going to be probably the best person to be able to use in your party to be able to start using more and more of those. But anyway, that pretty much wraps it up on this guide when it comes to Barmadi. Let me know in the comment section down below, do you primarily take her out in terms of your main team composition? How do you currently have her geared up? And also, what are the main Miasma Powers that you do gift to her? Do you go for the one or the two slots? Massive thank you for making your way to the end of the video. Massive thank you to the Babylonian family, as always, for their continued support. It really does help the channel out and allows us to be able to make this kind of content. But with all that said and done, that just leaves me to say, keep yourself safe, keep yourselves well, and I'll see you all on our next video.